Well, Shalom, Israel, Brother DFG. I guess the Pope or the Vatican, let me say that correct. I don't want to put it on the Pope. But I guess the Vatican is going to make an announcement tomorrow that, you know, the world needs to prepare themselves for what they call aberrations. Now, in case my brothers and sisters don't know what an aberration is, an aberration is a ghost-like, human-like entity that is not familiar on earth to most people. Again, an aberration is a non-human like creature that's not necessarily familiar to those of us who live in the natural on this earth. And what he's saying or what the Vatican is saying on the 17th they're going to make an announcement to everybody so that when they start to see these aberrations, that no one panics and make a mad dash to the Vatican, you know, looking for prayers and redemption and salvation and blessings. Now, of course, <laughs> I don't know why they would want to go to, you know, the devil's den or the, or the lion's den, you know, to avoid the lion. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. But I only bring that out to my brothers and sisters to say this again. Our book tells us there's nothing new under the sun. Our book tells us that everything that was is coming again. Our book reminds us that in these last days it will be as it was in the days of Noah. Now, if you're reading in the book of Jash around chapter 5, 6, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Genesis speaks or references it other places in the book. Enoch talks about it extensively, what the fallen look like. 500 foot aberrations. Aberrations that eat flesh, drink blood. Aberrations that Tor Torbic talked about that unalive men because they fall in love with Israelite women, etc. So, what's my overarching message to Yashua? I think I'll use what Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse uh, 12 and 13, well, verse 13 in particular. At the end of the day, love Yahuwah and keep his commandments because that's the purpose of man. And this is what I'll say to my brothers and sisters. If you're out there in any kind of religion, any kind of falsehood, any kind of false worship, seeking any kind of savior, any other kind of redeemer outside of Yahuwah sovereign, then get ready for some aberration visitation. And guess what? They're not friends to men. As a matter of fact, they eat people. And worse. Hallelujah. But Yah, if you're on that white side, that one tent, guess what, brothers and sisters? No weapon formed against you will prosper. Isaiah 14, 54 and 17, I'm sorry. Though the enemy comes in like a flood, Yah said, I will send his angels, the Michaels, the Gabriels, the Raphaels, the Benuels, and they will fight and stand on our behalf as we fight and stand for Yahuwah. Otherwise, Hey, they're on their own. <laughs> if you follow them, you're on your own. But it'll be interesting to see what, he, what they have to say tomorrow. We'll be talking about it on our Zoom call tomorrow evening. And, you know, on Shabbat, y'all willing, we'll be teaching from uh, the book of Enoch 105 to, to break it down. So I hope you can be there and if nothing else. You can check out, you know, that video message. But otherwise, stay alert. Keep your focus, your mind on Yahuwah. Loving with all your heart, all your strength, and all your might. Watch out for aberrations. Shalom, Brother DFG.